Hey friends, welcome back to the show. Today we're heading out to the far outreach of Northwest Palm Bay to go check on a leaky shower valve. Catch up to you when we get there. So real quick update on the last video someone put out earlier this week on the 1962 house we broke the floors open it got really chaotic around there half the crew came over didn't get any time to shoot the the camera work or any of that good stuff it came out really well and stuff uh we'll catch you on the next one when that happens but check this video out i think you'll enjoy oh boy one of these old guys Get the water cut off. It's Friday and I wasn't expecting to run into something like this because this could easily take a while. Uh, I don't know if I got the bonnet nut on there. That's the biggest problem with getting that bonnet nut off there. Um, let me get the water shut off and we're going to spray some lube up on that thing and let it set up for the catalyst to see if we can't get that thing to turn without breaking the whole valve. Wish me luck. Gosh, he's not moving. I'm going to have to cut that thing out. Sorry about all that background noise. They're building a house directly across the street. I remember if you guys watched a couple years ago, I did a video on how to remove one of these bonnet nuts. And it's kind of a silly video I used by heating it up and doing all the other stuff. This time, we went about doing this by cutting that nut nice and carefully. Let me show you something. These are the parts that cause these deltas to actually start leaking. They're neoprene seats. And look at that one. You can see that big old gouge out of it. That's what wouldn't stop the water from dripping. But before you decide to get involved in doing all this stuff and cutting bonnet nuts out and everything, make sure you have the proper replacement parts. You need a handle because there was none there. The new neoprene seats, springs, our ball with our catcher, and our new bonnet net. Let's go ahead and we'll go and clean out the inside of that valve real quick and try to put this back together and see if we've got a fix.
You got a notch right there. It's got to match up to the notch on the valve. Watch. Right there. hands to show you but before you tighten that down and you need a pair of needle nose pliers and push that in so that notch seats so when you screw that in it doesn't pop out of place I'll show you This whole thing is going to turn, it's going to be cattywampus. It has to be. I pushed that in with needle nose one hand and screwed this on hand tight. Now we're going to try to snug that, put the handle back on, and turn the water on and see if the leak's gone. Time to come back outside, turn this water back on, and let's cross our fingers that thing don't still leak. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. It's not like you guys haven't seen me do this kind of stuff before. Just a little refresher lesson. Most of the time when I come across these old valves, I like to share it with all you guys. But I don't think I've ever showed you do this in a way where I had to cut the bonnet out. Now you gotta be careful. You don't wanna mess them threads up and everything. And if you get it just right and nice, you can take a little flathead screwdriver and you can pop the rest of the way out and then unscrew it. But make sure you have all the correct parts and stuff. And one of the biggest things that I can tell you that you're gonna need when you do this type of work is patience. Because if you don't have it, you're gonna end up messing it up. If you don't know what you're doing, stop what you're doing and call yourself a licensed plumber. Got any questions or comments, leave them down below and don't forget to keep plumbing.